Ashton, what are you doing? What What is this? You know what? Let's follow him and find out. Because I have... What am I looking at? I mean, this is the color of the roads. Oh, by the way, hi. I'm Gabby. Like, oh my gosh, it's the trail to the WAP Tower! You know what? We're going to start... The introduction to me as a Minecraft YouTuber is going to be the WAP Tower. Look at it. Look at him go. Good job. You know what? This is the WAP Tower. And no, it does not stand for what you think it stands. No. It stands for worship and prayer. What is this? Oh. What is, what is this? What is this? Who made the you smell sign on the WAP Tower? What the heck? Oh, I'm going to be joining VC after I record. At some point... You'll be hearing the voices of some of my friends, but, you know. This is the WAP Tower of Worship and Prayer. Not the WAP you were thinking. Let's head up. Is this the up elevator? It is. I'm just so fascinated by elevators. Truly, they're so iconic. Like, what, back in my Minecraft days of middle school. Oh my gosh! Hi, Katra! The WAP Tower. Worship and Prayer. No other type of WAP. The only WAP is worship and prayer. <laughs> that's a WAP. That's a, that's a worship and a prayer. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this laugh? What? what? Stop, oh God. please. We got, we got some music. To be, if you want to like worship and prayer with some music, you can. But, <laughs> this is this is the worship and prayer tower, inspired by that of Dre. Uh, Dre, Dre. I, I mean Dream, but like you know what I mean, Dre, of the Dre SMP. We. But yeah, this is just the WAP tower. This is the newest build. Me and Ashton made it yesterday. Oh, oh, I was gonna say bye to them. I don't- I- I think their name has been- they're- I don't know them. They're a friend of one of my other friends, but they're- they seem cool. But yeah. I'm gonna leave Ashton hard at work. But yeah, I feel like this is my first video, so I guess I gotta do some introductions, don't I? Hello? Oh. Okay. Oh, wow, I keep trying to go say bye and then people just leave! Bruh. Bruh. But yeah. If you can't tell, we like Minecraft YouTubers here. We're trying to make a Lamanberg Love Garden to kind of like pay our respects to the nation. As you can see, it's not made of wool. It's made of, I, oh my god, is it clay? Clay. Do you know why? So no one can burn the flag. Huh? Huh? Kind of hitting you in your feels, aren't I? But back to civilization. Ooh. People are adding more stuff to this. This is our communal house where everyone's gonna get a floor. That's my floor, if you can't tell because it's pink, but it's kind of epic. But let's go to the spawn and just, I feel like I need to read you the constitution just so you get the idea. But yes, I'm gonna try to be a Minecraft YouTuber like I was back in my middle school days. That was a really weird time, not gonna lie. I pretended to be British, it was very weird. Hey, I just thought I would come talk to you and say, when I used to introduce my old videos in middle school, I would go like this. Hello guys, it's me, GeepoGemX here. But yeah, you spawn in and you're like, wow. That's the flag of the Venla Nation. I don't know if I've said that this nation is the Venla Nation. My cat's name is Venla. Named after the main character in Spring Awakening. Yes, I'm a theater kid. Very sad, I know. I thought I would show you guys Venla, so here she is, looking cute as ever. But yes, this is the face of the nation. The, obviously the cat face symbolizes Venla. The green is for Lin Bei Fong from Legend of Korra because Lin Bei Fong is really cool. I love her. The blue is for nature. The pink is for love and the white is for peace. But yeah, see we have full symbolism in our flag. You know what I mean? That's kind of wholesome. Oh my god, this is the cat who's joining me for the day. Her name is Katra. If you can't tell, I really like Shira. I have another cat named Adora. Let's just give you like an introduction to what this nation is. Welcome to the Venla Nation Town Hall. I could read you the rule board, but honestly, like, 
you know, rules, whatever. I mean, yes, you should follow rules. But let's read the Constitution. What is this? Oh, I think I made parkour just to... Instead of reading the Constitution, I'm going to tell you that the peony is the national flower of the Venla Nation. This is a peony. And that is your education, folks. You were learning so much history about this nation that was made in September. But let's read the Constitution. Wait. Pretend you didn't see any of that. Okay. We the people of the Venland Nation pledge our loyalty to the lovely, incredible Lin Bei Fong. We just think that she's very neat. If you're not a Legend of Korra fan, this probably means nothing to you, but if you are, just know. Live, love, laugh, Lin. Oh my god, the cat was so loud when I said that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and she's jumping next to me. Wait, focus. This great nation is named after the Cat of Gabby, aka me, and I'm the leader of the nation. And my cat's name is Venla, which I think I said before. I'm just repeating myself, aren't I? But here we love and respect all cats, and especially love the queen herself, Venla. Our form of government is called WWLD. What would Lynn do? Yes, we're referencing Legend of Korra again. But yes, the founders of this great nation, known as the Bayfon Council, interpret her character to make laws. Basically, just be kind and just a good person and everything is going to be poggers, you know what I mean? And we do not tolerate homophobia, racism, sexism, transphobia, ableism, etc. If, if you do support any of those things, then Hero Brian will knock you off the face of the world, aka I will ban you. So also just know that my YouTube account is a safe space, by the way, along with the whole ventilation. But yeah, just a reminder, if you dig straight down, you'll lose your kneecaps. Honestly, I have no idea what I was thinking when I wrote that, but it's in the Constitution forever. So I'm gonna have to live with that. Also, please cuddle gas and creepers. They're, they need the love. They're just, I don't know. Everyone's just like, kill them. Like, no. Kill them with kindness, please. Please plant flowers. We really like nature. <laughs> if you break the vase, the vase, I can't speak. If you break the vase, I will cry. If you don't understand this meme, like, it's okay. But those who do, they get a cookie. Sandersides fans, please rise. You are so cool. Please talk to me. Love you. But yeah, Poggers signed our lovely council members. But yes, that was just an intro to what the world means. If you ever did join, you'd have to read the rules. But like, you know, that's besides the point. We also have a little, we have a love garden based off of Stampy. It's not too... Um, talk to subscribers though you know maybe one day it will be but these are all the citizens I'm not gonna go through all their names at the moment because not everyone's on we had two of our friends just left but Ashen's still on he's very cool and yeah I feel like since this is an introduction you should probably also know how amendments to the Constitution work so let me tell you Amendments to Constitution can be added in this building. One of my awesome friends, Grace, built it. Kind of iconic, not gonna lie. And it's the Amendment House. So if you want to make an amendment to the Constitution, you just come write it here. And like, if I don't like your amendment, maybe I'll delete it. Someone banned reading. And I was like, of course you can read. There's a Constitution, what? I'm gonna read them to you. Bees good. Yellow jackets and wasps bad. This is because I'm really afraid of bees that sting in real life. So, like, I'm just, you know, putting it here. All peeps must pay respect to Bobathin. We're going to end the video paying respects to Bobathin, just so, you know, have an introduction. Bobathin was me and one of my other friends, I believe, um, hi, a zombie, what's it called? Bobathin. Very sad. He had another right armor when he spawned in, and he was so chill and cute, and he's, he despawned, and it's very sad. PP, I don't really, you know, you interpret that as you will. Ashton's Minecraft skin blinks, so he was like, if you enter this world, you have to watch me blink. I don't judge, and I think that's iconic. Oh my god, please don't spam spawn mobs like a ridiculous amount. Alright, I feel like I have to specify why this is a rule. Okay, so there's one person in the nation who kind of spawned, like, maybe over 200 foxes, and then named them all Fundy. Just Minecraft YouTube things. And the whole world was glitching out, so like... This is why we don't spam spawn animals. If you're the person I'm talking about, I hope you're watching. I felt like I had a plan of where I was going, but I kind of forgot. Oh, I said we were gonna we we're gonna end the video. This is just a little intro to what the Venla Nation is, because I feel like you needed it.
But this is the grave of Bobathin. I believe, I think Eden left this. Yeah. Rest in peace, Bobathin. We love you very much. I made a little grave. It's made with netherite. Because, you know, rest in peace, Bobathin. And that's a replica of the sword he held. He will be missed. So we're going to throw black flowers to kind of, you know, add to this theme of just black for netherite. Yeah. Oh my god, my cat meows yeah, so loud. But let's just, you know. Rest in peace, Bobathin. Your memory will always be here. So if you want to see more action of the Venla Nation, maybe interact with people more, see the crazy amount of builds we have. Like, you saw a few things. Oh my gosh. Ashton's gigantic path in the sky. The parkour course. The tons of houses. The spooky arena. The PvP arena. The communal house. The tree houses. Literally so much stuff to see. If you want to see more. And also, you know, see some government. Some war. Some vibes. Stick around. But it was nice talking to you. So, bye. And please subscribe. Please.